Hey guys, so I recently came across this framer theme called Chroma and I thought it was pretty cool with how they implemented a dark and light mode of the theme um, and even have a toggle switch where you can switch between the states. So I went out and tried to recreate parts of this theme and also wanted to see if I can implement this switch. In this tutorial I'll show you how to um, use the native framer functionality to create dark and light versions of your site and also how to implement this toggle switch which there's unfortunately no native fr framer functionality for as of yet. So jumping into the project let's assume you build the light version of your site like so. You will either have um, color styles already applied to your elements or um, you don't have any like myself in this case. So first of all, what you have to do is apply color styles to all of your elements. So let's start out with the background color, which is some kind of beige in my case. But um, for the naming conventions, it doesn't uh, make too much sense to call it beige because um, it will be dynamic depending on the dark or light um, settings. So I just call it background, but yeah, this is up to what makes sense to you. And um, yeah, we'll also have to create um, a dark mode version of this color, which is a pitch black in my case. And as for all of the elements and graphics, I'll just create a new style and call it primary. But again, do what makes sense to you. And um, the dark mode version of this color will be um, this beige. And create the style. And now we have to assign this, these color styles to all of our elements. So the background is already fine, um, but the individual items still have this hex value. And you don't have to do this individually. You can just um, select the desktop breakpoint and uh, look what's under selection colors. And where there is still a hex value, you just change it to your color style. And now switching between uh, dark and light mode, we can see that it works for the most part. Um, we still have some work to do for the components, which didn't get picked up. So I have to go into this component and also change it to my color style primary. And it's looking pretty good. One extra thing, which is uh, special in my case, is that I also have a custom cursor. Uh, which also has to make use of this color style primary. So yeah, as you can see, this has been pretty straightforward so far. And your website will now adapt to whether a user has set their system settings to dark or light mode. When publishing the site and having a look at it in the, having a look at it in the browser, uh, we can see in my Arc browser, which is set to dark mode, uh, the website displays in dark and my system settings are actually light so in safari it looks like this which is perfect but what's still missing is the toggle switch to let the user switch between the two states and unfortunately there is no native solution framer as of right now to do this so we have to look for some third-party solutions people have actually been begging the framer team to implement this since 2023 so quite a long time and so far it hasn't been implemented so yeah some people have took matters into their own hand and created components for this and um, there's one which i found to be working pretty well and it's this theme toggle um, from a guy called stefan i will include a link to this component in the description down below and if you find this helpful please go ahead and buy this guy coffee because he absolutely deserves it. I especially like this single toggle between like light and dark mode and yeah, you can just um, copy and paste this into your framer project. And um, yeah, we want it in this column right here. As you can see, there are a couple of settings for this component. You can change the weight of the icon and also the icon itself. As for making it a bit bigger, you can use a scale transform and 
and choose your desired value like so. Also, don't forget to also give this um, this icon your primary color style and giving it a preview. Well, it doesn't work. <laughs> um, this is because it, this will only work for published sites. So you have to, first of all, publish it and look at the um, live domain. And over here, voila, this is looking pretty good. And that's about it. So let me know what you think and if this was helpful to you. And I will catch you in the next video soon.